and welcome to Anna's Thoughts and Musical Parodies. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel and everyone who is returning, thank you so much for always being here. So today I actually get to report on what seems like some good news. The other day I was going past the park that's in my city that has been shut down ever since all the COVID stuff started happening and it was actually open and there were kids playing there. I believe that was actually just yesterday. So that's exciting. And today I am about to go to the library, which turns out is also open again, which is awesome because I don't have a printer at home. So today I get to go there and print out my resume to bring to apply for a job. As always, if you want to support what I do here, I will leave a few different links in the description for different ways that you can go about doing that. All right, so I just parked my bike at the library and we're gonna go in. Uh, I talked to somebody on the phone earlier about, you know, whether or not it's actually open. And that she also told me that there are special, I think an hour or two in the morning when they open that are specifically for elderly people or like people with special conditions, I think. So that's pretty cool. You know, those are the people who are, apparently there's a mail drop off, mail ballot drop off here as well. Um, but those are the people who are actually at risk for COVID are the elderly and people with pre-existing conditions. That's the vast majority of who has died. So I think it's cool that they do that. You gotta have my mask on to go in. That's interesting that they'd be open but not accepting book donations. Not sure what that's about. All right, well, I just found out as I was actually kind of nervous might be the case that the library is open to look at books and things, but not the computer lab, which is ridiculous. You're touching books, you're touching the computer. What difference does that make, you know? Ah, uh, so yeah, that's stupid. That's the only reason I come here usually. Um, and the lady who told me that the computer lab is not open also told me that she couldn't really tell me why because she's new but yeah it's just sad what a waste what um a sad situation they're making it harder for people like me to get a job during this time when we desperately need that all right, well, I semi-successfully printed out part of my resume. Uh, they changed the system, so it's really confusing and awkward now. Um, and now I'm on a bench outside of the library, and I just thought this statement on this bench was kind of something I needed to, needed to see right now. There is a very nice little garden area. There was just a black, one or two blackbirds here. So that's a nice little upside to the situation. But yeah, they closed the computer lab and I asked somebody and they said it's because it's a closed space and people are too close together, but they could actually leave the door open and they could also, you know, just like mark off half of the seats like they do at restaurants and stuff. I think it's just a lame excuse. I don't know why, why they're making that lame excuse, but yeah. Uh, so you have to use a device with their Wi-Fi and I had to print from my phone out of my email and it just didn't turn out very nice, but at least I have something. All right, and here right across the street from the library is the park. That's a really cool park that I've gotten to bring my nieces and nephew to at least once or twice, even a couple times. And um, yeah, I think I just saw yesterday that it's open now which is really awesome, you know, for all these happy children to be playing at. It's great that they felt that they were able to do that again. I mean, it is outside and I don't think any kids have died of COVID if I'm correct. It's at least been very few who have even gotten it. I actually have 
a nurse friend who said when it first started out, like nobody, there were no kids with issues.